Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. So finally, um, looks like I might have been with a little bit of luck today. It's the last Sunday in October, it's actually the last day of October, and I've been planning, due to the fact that we've got some very cold uh, nights forecast for next week, and obviously during the week I'm at work, I've been planning today to possibly bring in a fair number of my uh, tropicals, particularly the more tender ones and ones that have got uh, potentially flowers and fruit on them um, but the weather forecast for today was for torrential rain all day and in actual fact we had very heavy rain um, we've had very heavy rain up until about half an hour ago so I thought there was going to be zero chance of getting any plants tidied up and treated for pests and bought inside and then suddenly out of the blue the skies have cleared and um, and the sun's come out so perhaps um, perhaps the sun does shine on the righteous I'm not sure but um, it does mean that I should be able to open the doors on my kitchen properly today and start reorganizing some of the plants now I'm not planning to do anything with the citrus because the citrus I'm planning to overwinter in my summer house this year for the first time because I only got it um, late winter early spring so I'm hoping although it's unheated that that should prove a much better habitat for the citrus rather than the dry centrally heated atmosphere in the house which has been causing me a lot of problems with the citrus they all tended to drop their leaves uh, and the other issue is obviously as I've got about 20 citrus I take up a lot of room in the kitchen so it might make it slightly easier to get my tropicals inside um, later on and get them organised in such a way that it can fit a fair number in. You can see it is still very windy and that's my concern for this week. We're going to have several nights where it gets down to about 3 or 4 centigrade which is about uh, 37, 38 Fahrenheit but the problem is it's going to be accompanied probably by very cold wind so um, that's a bit too much for shock for some of these tropicals like the cherry moyers and the uh, rose apples and the various guavas I've still got outside um, Suriname cherry I've still got most of my tropicals outside apart from some of the very young ones so um, we'll progress with that a little bit later today and I might try and film a couple of the plants that I haven't uh, covered for several months just to see how they've done outside over summer so you can catch up with me when I put those in a later part of the video well, I've got about three quarters of tropicals in now inside my kitchen. Um, doesn't include any citrus, as I'm hoping to obviously put all of those into the um, into my summer house. That's the idea. But I've got most of the regular tropicals inside. I've left a few outside um, because I haven't had time to organise the place. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens with these, and I'll keep you updated through the winter. They always look good when they first come in, but then it all goes downhill. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up, share, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like updates over the winter. Thanks very much. See you all soon. Brett out for now.